はい、皆さんこんにちは。今日はイギリス英語とアメリカ英語の違いについて取り上げたいと思います。イギリス英語とアメリカ英語では単語が異なる場合があります。この動画では食べ物に関連する英単語でイギリス英語とアメリカ英語がどのように違うのか共有したいと思います。まず、私が日本語で単語を言った後にネイティブスピーカーがアメリカ英語、イギリス英語の順番で紹介をしていきます。それでは早速始めますナスエッグプラント In British English オーバジーンオーバジーン is actually originally a French word and it was imported into the English language ズッキーニズッキーニ same word in American English in British English We say courgette, which again is originally a French word. Sayendo. In American English, snow peas. In British English, mange tout, which again is, was originally a French word. Akakabu beetroot. In American English, beet. In British English, beetroot. Fried potato. In American English, French fries. But in British English, we say chips. Potato chips. Same in American English, potato chips. But in British English, we say crisps. Ice candy. In American English, popsicle. In British English, ice lolly. Cupcake. In American English, cupcake. Traditionally, we used to say fairy cake. But in recent years, the, we have switched to calling them cupcakes to follow the trend from America. Cookie. In American English, cookie. In British English, biscuit. These are for sweet biscuits. Savory biscuits we call crackers to go with cheese, for example. Watagashi. In American English, cotton candy. In British English, candy floss. s h a r b e t In American English, sherbet. In British English, sorbet. Hiki niku. In American English, ground meat. And in British English, minced meat. Lemonado. In American English, lemon lime soda, for example, Sprite. But in British English, we say lemonade. Jam. In American English, jelly. But for a change, in British English, it's the same as the Japanese word jam. Ketchup. Ketchup is also the same word in American English. In British English, We say ketchup when it's in the home because most families prefer to buy the branded item, which is obviously ketchup. However, if you go to a fish and chip shop to, and you want to put the equivalent of ketchup on your fish, on your chips, it will be called tomato sauce because it's the cheaper option, it's the unbranded version. 
食卓食器類 In American English, silverware. But in British English, we just say cutlery. Can. In American English, can. In British English, we say tin. So, tin of tuna, for example, or in general, tinned food. Mizusashi. In American English, pitcher, but in British English, we say jug. So, jug of water, for example, or、uh, now it's a topical phrase jug of pims. Pims is a very famous British drink, alcoholic based drink. It's actually based on gin. And it's the most famous summer drink. So it's、uh, got gin, it's also, you also add lemonade to it, and little bits of mint. And it's usually drunk outside, in fact, always drunk outside, especially in the garden. Hi, ここまでは、イギリス英語とアメリカ英語で単語のスペル自体が違うもの、単語自体が違うものを取り上げてきました。ここからは、単語のスペル自体は同じですが、発音がイギリス英語とアメリカ英語で異なる単語を取り上げていきます。Herb. In American English, herb. They don't pronounce the H. But in British English, herb. Tomato. In American English, the first syllable is longer tomato. In British English, tomato. j a g a i m o In American English, Potato. That sounds like the second D is like, a T,、uh, is like a D, it's a softer sound. But in British English, potato, you clearly pronounce both T's. Sake. Sake is salmon. But pronunciation in American English, the syllable, the first syllable is longer, so they say salmon. British English, Shorter, salmon. Mizu. In American English, again, the T is a softer T, it almost sounds like a D, so they say water. In British English, it's a, a hard T, so we say water. Vitamin. In American English, vitamin. That's a long first syllable. In British English, it's a short first syllable. Vitamin. Yogurt. In American English, it's similar to the Japanese pronunciation. The first syllable is long. Yogurt. In British English, we say yogurt. Or yogurt. So, as you can see, some words are French, for example, aubergine, courgette. They were basically imported from France at the same time as the vegetables. That's my understanding of what happened. Hi. いかがでしたでしょうか今日は食べ物に関する英単語でアメリカ英語とイギリス英語の違いを取り上げてみましたでは今回はこれで以上になりますまた次回のフレーズでお会いしましょうじゃあねバイバイ